Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. Today I want to make some ribbons inspired by Tina at Chabby Dabby Duda. I haven't seen anybody else make them, um, so I will link her in the comments or in the um, description. And it's been a while since I made these, so I'm running out. And I'll show you the one I still have left. And it's this one. And unfortunately, because it's been sitting, it's um, started to fray. So there's that to keep in mind. I might make these um, ends a little longer on the next batch. So let's see, maybe something like that and then make the top shorter. And I like to have them in different colors now that I have a little more ribbon to play with. So we'll need to fasten that with, I'm going to use hot glue. You could use fabric. Um, fabric glue. What is it? Fabric tack there. That one. You could use that one if you like. Um, whatever would work. I prefer hot glue because it's it sets faster. And I'm not going to make a whole bunch, like, I'm not going to make lots of every color. I'm just going to make one of all the colors of ribbon that I have. So that in itself will be a bit of a mass make. And yeah, I really like that one. So how are you doing? Are you working? Are you playing? Hope you're having fun. Okay, so that's another one. I splurged on this yellow ribbon at, at Amazon. So I like it. this white one that I don't even think I've opened yet. Okay, and I pulled out some things here that we can use to um, top them with. So I was thinking like these, they're not buttons, but I can't remember the name of them. I think that one might go well over here. Nope, it's the wrong blue. So the bird cage on that one. I'm gonna move this one because it's already glued. This has gold, which is nice. Something contrasting or something matchy matchy, probably contrasting silver. I even pulled out a little tiny applique, probably not for that one. Something dark, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't really love anything yet. That one's got yellow on it. Maybe that one. All right, then for the green one. So what do we do with these, you may be asking? Well, I've been using some of them as toppers for tags. Um, I 
could use it. I mean like a, a tab for tags. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. A little bit big. But that reminds me. I have a lot of other butterflies. Okay, I'm just going to start gluing this one down here. It's starting to drip. They also just look nice um, hanging on a page, really. Or I've made some lace streamers in the past, and they would look good on there, too. There's so many ways to use these. And again, I have to credit Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodo. Um, it's been a while since I've seen her do these, but... I was, like I said, I only had the one left and I like to use them, so. And now I had one figured out for the green one, did I not? I was thinking a butterfly for the one, like an actual butterfly. See if that works with a clock. That's not bad. I might do that. So how much ribbon did I need for these? Was it I know I'm making the tails a little long in case they fray while they're not being used. And I kind of went beside there. And I have this really wider one. I'm going to say about six inches. At least six. I think I'm doing seven. It depends how big you want them and it depends on how big the, the things are that you're putting on them, like proportion wise. And I don't even think this one really. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it could have been longer. Probably should have gone about 8 inches for this one. Seemed like a lot, but then you're doubling it up, so... I don't know. That one might be too wide. You have to find something that can handle that width. That'll work. Yeah, the wide one's not as pretty, but I'm sure it will come in handy for something. Okay, so that's four, and then we got the yellow one. Okay, it really helps if you do them while they're Okay, I messed this one up. Let's try that again. It helps if you put them out in front of you. At least I guess it does for me. Because you want the right side on 
the right side like over top overlapping like so and then I don't know something contrasting maybe nope that's butterfly not wanting to go anywhere nope that'll do yeah and then you just got to worry about the threads but yeah this yellow ribbon that I spent so much money on it's fraying more than all of them so I'm not sure what that's about okay so then I had these here and thought I would try a darker one as well and maybe one of these polka dot ones I think silver on silver would be nice, so yeah. And one more. Did that one that I twist up I twisted that one again hmm, sorry about that and I gotta think of what I want on this one too okay where were we for the most part the glue won't show so okay so this is the top there we go that won't matter because it's gonna i had the spot right i just didn't have the side of the ribbon correct but we will put something there nope That's not bad. Nope, I like the dark one. Something like so. And then when I get ready to use them, I will sharpen the ends, trim the ends off and make them the appropriate length for my project. I'll leave that one for now because I already know it's gonna fray. This one might work. I will wait and see with that one because I think it might fray. This one, I'm hoping it won't fray because it's already too short. I'm not even gonna trim it right now. This one I will. I think this one will be okay. This one will be okay, I think. And two, I still have this flower kicking around. That might work. Just need a ribbon for it. Let's see. Do I have any out that it would look good on? <laughs> of 
course, it looks good on any of them right now. Oops. Oh, I just saw, you know, if you had thin lace, you could do it with that too. Hang on, I have some, let me check. There we go. I got this at the dollar store. Yeah, that's nice. Let me get this garbage out here. That's what I was gonna do. That looks all right, I'm gonna do that. Oh yes, you just have to be careful when you use hot glue and lace. I'm gonna put that on there. Whoops. That looks nice. I like that one. Might have to do some more of those. Because I did not see Tina do those, but I'm not sure if she did or not. So, but yeah, I like the, um, using the lace. And if I had other thin lace, I could do it with that too. Let me trim this one because I don't think it will fray. But you get the idea. I mean, you could, you could use buttons. Um, I'm just trying to think. Oh yes, I have some buttons that I've been saving. Do you do that? Do you buy buttons at the thrift store and then you think they're too pretty to use? I think I did that again. It's harder to tell with the with the lace which side because you want it to make a nice loop. Honestly, I thought hot glue was a thing of the past in my life until I started um, with journals. And then lo and behold, it became interesting again and useful. Okay, let me find those buttons I was thinking of. I was keeping them on the safety pin to, you know, separate them. And can I get one out? These are my favorite buttons right now because of what's on them. They are shank buttons, but it's another reason I probably haven't used them. It shouldn't matter too much on here, I guess. I don't really have anything to um, get rid of that. Yeah, it'd probably be too bulky. Okay, what else have I got? Oh, I know. There we go. Charms would be lovely. Especially a bigger one. Even though it's silver. I 
don't mind that, but I don't love it either. I still like that flower. Maybe another flower. Mind you, that's bulky too, but it's squishable. Okay, let's try the butterflies again. My tiniest butterfly. The orange one or the green one. I think the orange one is smaller. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to angle it on here. Like so. And I moved it down a little. And everything is full of thread from the glue. All right, that's a few and you get the idea. And um, yeah, I could have used actual buttons, but I don't have any handy at the moment. So it's, you know, you have to get everything out, right? So anyways, I did think the charm idea was a good one. And I think I'm gonna make one more just to get that in my thinking because if you don't do it you don't remember it so that's how it is for me I have to, I'm a very tactile learner I apologize for my glue gun being so loud I don't purposely slam it down, but it yet seems to. There, that should work, right? I have to clean that up a bit after it dries, but I think that'll work. Yeah, it's amazing where all you can sneak charms into. Clean that one up. Yeah, I really am starting to like the lace with that. I think that's my least favorite. My most favorite? Well, I'm partial to this ribbon, but I think they all look nice. I'm going to use all of them, that's for sure. So anyways, thanks for joining me today and uh, be blessed. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.